Today we're going to talk about Marie and Pierre Curie and their discovery of polonium and radium. Who was Marie Curie? She was born Marie Sklodowska in Warsaw, Poland in 1867. Both of her parents were teachers and were very instrumental in her early education. Her father taught her chemistry and physics and was able to really get her excited about the subjects. She wanted to further her studies, but during that time in Poland, women were not allowed to take part in advanced learning. Marie always wanted to study at the Sorbonne in Paris. However, since her family could not afford to support this dream financially, she worked as a governess to help pay for her sister Bronia to study medicine at Sorbonne. In turn, Bronia would later help Marie to attend. Marie was 24 when she was finally able to go to Paris to study and to begin to realize her dream. With little money but a strong desire to succeed, Marie devoted herself to her studies of mathematics and physics. She was quoted as saying, It was like a new world opened to me, the world of science, which I was at last permitted to know in all liberty. In 1893, Marie earned a degree in physics. Just one year later, in 1894, Marie graduated second in her class, earning a degree in mathematics. The next part of Marie's dream was to become a teacher and to return to Poland. Pierre was homeschooled by a private tutor and his father a physician. At 16, he earned his baccalaureate and soon became completely focused on a career. He worked as head of a laboratory school of industrial physics and chemistry, and his research focus was in crystals and the magnetic properties of bodies at different temperatures. The Curie point, named after Pierre, is the level of temperature that furiomagnetic substances lost their furiomagnetic behavior. At 21, Pierre and his brother Jacques discovered piezoelectricity. Piezoelectricity is the electrical potential that is seen when mechanical stresses are applied on certain crystals, including quartz. At 27, Marie met Pierre, who was then 35, and was an internationally known physicist. In 1895, the two were married in France. Pierre submitted his doctoral thesis on magnetism, more specifically the connection between temperature and magnetism, now known as Curie's Law, which is the resulting magnetization. Here you see a formula, M equals C times B over T, where M is the magnetic field measured in Tesla, T is the absolute temperature measured in kelvins. C is the material specific Curie constant. In 1897, Pierre and Marie welcomed their daughter Irene into the world. Pierre convinced the university to allow Marie to work in the school's lab. Marie passed her teacher's diploma at the top of her class and was instrumental in conducting a number of investigations into magnetic properties of steel. With her own research, she added to her friend's research and was able to make new discoveries. Marie used Becquerel's discovery that gases through which the rays pass become able to conduct electricity and Röntgen's discovery of electromagnetic radiation in the wavelength range, or X-rays, to make a systematic investigation of the mysterious uranium rays. She made use of Pierre and Jacques' electrometer based on the piezoelectric effect of the measurement of weak electrical currents. She discovered that radiation came from inside the atoms rather than an interaction between molecules. She discovered two new elements that Marie and Pierre named radium after radiation and polonium after Poland. In 1903, the Curies and Henri Becquerel received the Nobel Prize in Physics for their combined research and discoveries on radiation. In 1904, Marie and Pierre had a second daughter named Eve. In 1906, Pierre was run over by a horse-drawn wagon and died. It is thought that the constant aches and pains of his legs that Pierre was experiencing prior to his death were the effects of radiation poisoning. After Pierre's death, Marie fell in love with Paul Longsvon, a family friend. The newspaper reported the relationship as a scandal in order to destroy Marie's reputation. 
In 1911, Marie won a second Nobel Prize, this time in chemistry. She was the first person to ever win two. During World War I, Marie and her daughter Irene used her discovery to take x-rays of wounded soldiers. Marie then trained other women to take x-rays of soldiers. The French government began to appreciate her contribution to the war efforts and began to accept her as a respected member of the French community. Unfortunately, like Pierre, years of exposure to radiation caused Marie to suffer severe pain. She also suffered from cataracts in her eyes and the constant ringing in her ears. In 1934, she died in Paris of leukemia, which is a cancer of the blood. In 1995, Marie and Pierre's remains were moved from Francis to Francis Panthenon a place where distinguished French citizens are buried. Marie was the first woman to be honored by being buried at this final resting place. For more information on Marie and Pierre Curie and their discoveries, please take a look at these references.